Andy Goldsworthy has become world renowned for environmental sculpture and photography of site specific infirmial works. Using only what raw nature offers him, Goldsworthy rearranges the things we dismissively crunch beneath our toes into spectacular arrangements of land art. Some examples or key works showcasing the beauty of nature include The Leaf Stalk Room. Defying expectations, it reiterates that nature is at the crunks of human wandering and curiosity. How can the structure stand? Rowan leaves laid around whole. Designed to decay or vanish, it is a symbol of nature's spirit, the simplistic beauty of what the earth unleashes, nature's multiplicity, time and movement of nature, the way it changes over a period, and human ability to exist with nature and to control it for a period, but to then release it into time. Elm leaves laid over a rock, low water. The rock is both Goldworthy's medium and canvas. He plays with colour cleverly using vibrant yellow to contrast the darkness of the riverbed. Goldsworthy's use of colour focuses the line of sight. Immediately we are drawn in, into the warmth of the yellow. Arc. This sculpture shows the boldness of stone and its defiance of gravity and seasons. It is an example of raw nature at its most vulnerable, yet solid or durable to time. While there is much more to be said of each individual work, this presentation focuses upon two sculptures created by Goldsworthy that are located at Herring Island Environmental Park. The park itself is home to site-specific sculptures where artists utilise only natural materials harmonious with the bush. Located in the Yarra River, 4 kilometres upstream from the CBD, the island is only accessible by ferry. At a closer look, or once arrived, we can locate the infirmial works of Goldsworthy, Kahn and Stonehouse in the centre of works by Jill Peck, Robert Bridgewater and John Davies. Khan was sculpted in 1997 and is constructed from Castle Main Slate. While Goldsworthy has released this work to time, it has remained durable, almost immovable. In the process of its creation, stacks of stone were unloaded using machinery at Herring Island. Note that these pieces of stone would have been brought to the island from various places in Victoria and hammered to shape each piece uniquely. The structure rests on a stone base. Goldsworthy would have worked each piece of stone, judging how its size, weight, strength and texture would fit into the finished piece. It is a representation of nature's inevitable changes brought about by time, which for this type of raw material is not prominent. Moreover, it expresses that the environment is joined or fixed to humanity and that humanity is embedded within nature. Time and the idea of being are aspects of life that the environment and humankind have in common, relating the two evermore. Goldsworthy has built Khans of various sizes all around the world. Having built one in his home village in Scotland and another in New York, where he was a white professor at Cornell University, they are marked places that have personal meaning to the artist. Goldsworthy believes that the Khans he makes are a journey marker or guardian. Stonehouse was built in again 1997 and is main, made from dunkled sandstone in a similar way to his renowned infirmial works. Goldsworthy built a wall, stone by stone, into the Levi Bank, making a new shelter to house the red stone. Having spoken to a Herring Island gardener who has met Goldsworthy, he mentioned the roots of this piece. The stone house is based on the houses found within Goldsworthy's hometown in Scotland, where the stones were collected around their paddocks and made into houses, leaving a hole to shelter sheep. We can conclude that this iconic piece bears its origins to the early beginnings of Goldsworthy's youth. It fragments a small piece of the Scottish culture that the artist intended to reveal. It almost takes on a human form, feeding off architecture. Overall, in visiting the island, it should be enjoyed from a distance. Goldsworthy believes his work is most powerful that way and that it expresses one's sense of discovery. Andy Goldsworthy has become world-renowned.